Scientists say they are a step closer to curing boldness after unraveling the inner workings of goosebumps. In collaboration with Harvard University, National Taiwan University researchers found that the muscles that produce goosebumps are vital for regulating hair growth. Restoring those muscles could lead to new hair, scientists say. Their finding also opens possibilities for controlling the muscle nerve system that drives hair regeneration. When a person is cold, nervous, or scared, tiny, smooth muscles in the skin contract and create goosebumps. In a new study, scientists found that this mechanism also promotes hair growth. When goosebumps are present, it means the sympathetic nerve is activated at a high level. That high level of activity drives hair follicle stem cell activation to a much higher level, which rapidly accelerates hair growth. National Taiwan University researchers did the study in collaboration with a team at Harvard University. They found that in response to cold, the sympathetic nervous system goes into high gear, stimulating muscle contraction and creating goosebumps. At the same time, the sympathetic nerve dials up the activity of stem cells, which accelerates hair growth to keep the body warm over the long term. In hair follicle stem cells, there are some receptors specific to sympathetic nerve neurotransmitters. Those receptors can be stimulated by drugs that mimic the nerve signal. There is no need to stimulate the hair follicles by subjecting the person to low temperatures, moving emotions or extreme fear. It turns out that this phenomenon regulates the mechanism used by hair follicle stem cells. This study was published in the prestigious medical journal Cell. National Taiwan University said that it's already running animal tests to follow up on the findings. We're now conducting animal experiments, and it looks like a viable approach. For human application, there are several hurdles to clear. There are safety and efficacy assessments. Each step of the process will take two to three years. So all told, it could take six to ten years. It takes a long time to bring a new drug to market, particularly because of safety testing. Drug development could take at least six years, but researchers are confident they're on the right path toward an effective cure for baldness.